As most of you know, since October 3rd till now, the stock market has been on a tremendous downturn, and there's certain warning signs that we're seeing. So today what we're going to do is going to give you a glimpse of some of the news and headlines that you should pay attention to so you understand what's happening and how to protect your money going forward. CNBC News, Paul Tudor Jones sees more volatility, says the stocks could drop as much as 15% before rebounding. That was December 10th, 2018. New York Times, Matt Phillips, Wall Street faces stomach churning swings as the economy and uncertainty grows inside the United States. December 9, 2018, Yahoo Finance is the bull market on the verge of death. December 6, 2018. Folks, this is just a small glimpse of information that's come out in a handful of days. And if you start looking at the newspapers and articles that are out there and start looking at the mainstream media first thing in the morning, you'll start getting the headlines that are important to us. If you just take the headlines that we've read today, it concludes that there is a ton of information that's out for us, but more importantly, they're all telling us the same thing. They're all pointing in one direction that the economy of the United States is not in the position that they are telling us in most cases. And my point to telling you this is that we've always tried to get ahead of you in regards to the news so you could prepare accordingly. The newest report we now have out, The Day the Pension Died. On page seven of that report, it will specifically talk about some of the companies and corporations that I mentioned earlier. I want you to listen to some of the names of the companies that are listed here. And then we're gonna start talking about the unfunded portions of pension health inside those companies. We're looking at General Electric here, 31 billion. Boeing, we're looking at 20 billion. General Motors, we're looking at 18 billion. Lockheed Martin, 14 billion. AT&T, we're looking at 13 billion. Exxon Mobil, Delta Airlines, UPS, IBM, Ford Motors, and the list goes on and on and on. Pension health and pension programs is a supplemental income for those who work for a company long term that gives them income so when they get ready to retire, they have the ability to continue to survive with supplemental income from Social Security and properly diversified money into equities. Today, the equities market is in trouble. When the equities market gets in trouble and we encompass it with the problems that we now have with pension plans inside the United States, our money is becoming at risk. Click on the link below and we'll give you access to electric comp electronic copy of this report immediately. Call the number on your screen and we'll be glad to discuss further details of the information in the new report. Thank you for watching U.S. Money Reserve Market Insights.